welcoming video where you can see how to use global screens in your HMI project and how to use function of this global screen. <clears throat> okay, uh, global, global screens you can use in comfort panels, also in basic panels or in RTT Cinematic PC stations. You can find it in screen management option and here is global screen. All what you do on this screen and all functions what you use on this screen is applied to all of your screens in your project. Okay, <clears throat> control functions here are diagnostic screen, alarm view screen and alarm indicator. Diagnostic screen used for showing some diagnostic um, values from your system. How you can see system diagnostic window. Alarm view show all alarms occurred on your system and alarm indicator show you some alarm is on your machine on in your HMI. <clears throat> Okay, first we use arm view. For example, we place it place it here. Okay, save. And we create some new screen. For example, with name global test. When some alarm occurred on your HMI or in your PLC, then the alarm view show in your screen here, for example. For this purposes, we create some alarm. For example, we have created alarm with alarm text. This is global alarm screen test and we have created some tech with the name arm simulation this uh, tag is of data type integer because it's something like word and we want to use the first bit of this tag to make some arm okay for this we insert here some IO field with process tag alarm simulation and when we insert here number one then we have some alarm and we can see how to arm view show Okay, we can simulate it. Now, now no alarm occurred, but when we insert here number one, enter, now we can see alarm window show, and you can see what kind of alarm is on the machine. For us, is this is global alarm screen test. You can close this window by clicking on the X button or, or when you acknowledge this alarm, but for this you must have visible acknowledge button. We make it now. Go back to the global screen and in toolbar buttons show acknowledgement, acknowledge. Okay, also again simulate creating some arm situation. Now arm window show. And when we acknowledge this arm, this arm window is hidden. Yes. <laughs>
ओके बाद में आई एम मोर लाइक द कंट्रोल फंक्शन आर्म इंडिकेटर नाउ वी डिस्प्ले हाउ इट्स यूज ओके फॉर एग्जांपल वी इंसर्ट इट हियर एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ दिस इंडिकेटर इज when some alarm occur on your system then here is shown alarm indicator this uh, alarm indicator blink when alarm is active but you want to go the alarm screen uh, where you have inserted arm window arm view for this purposes we create new screen with name alarm screen okay and on this screen we insert alarm view window okay and some button for retur returning to the global test screen go back to global test screen for this button we make a event where after realizing of this button we activate screen global test and also on the global test window we make a button go to alarm view screen up same after releasing activate screen alarm screen and save Okay, now we can test it. Click on the simulation. Wait for compiling and now you can test. Okay, alarm is active. Now you can see indicator blink. But it's just on the indicator you have some alarm on your machine and you want to go to the alarm screen. Then you click on the button which we create go to arm screen and yes arm is here this is global arm screen test test okay we can acknowledge it but nothing happened because arm is still active but when we inactive this alarm now we don't see arm screen alarm indicator but also if you active the alarm and now we inactive the alarm we still see the alarm indicator <clears throat> but how you can see there is zero active alarms this means we have some alarm which are not acknowledged and when we acknowledge it then we don't see the indicator Okay, now we can create some functionality where when we can see the alarm indicator we won't just click on this indicator and this activate the screen alarm screen okay for this we don't want this button and now we check the events of this button of this alarm indicator properties and events okay there is two events first event is click and second event is click when flashing we want uh, event click when flashing because that indicates the some alarm state occurs on the alarm window and on our machine we can add 
functions like show alarm window and show alarm window. But also you can use VBA functions, this means scripts, and for this we use script and we create script where after clicking on this indic indicator we activate the screen alarm screen okay now we go to the scripts option of the project and end new vb function for example we rename it to go to alarms and here we just use one line where we use function hmi runtime dot base screen name and we want to activate screen alarm screen That's all. Now we check the syntax. Everything is okay with this script. Save the project and go back to the global screen. Also go to the events of the alarm indicator. And when we click on this indicator, when this indicator flashing, then we activate script go to alarms. Okay, now we can test it. Start simulation. And now we activate some alarm. And we see here indicator blinking. When we click on it, we go to the alarm screen. This is very useful because uh, when, you, when you do something or watching on the screen and now alarm occurs and alarm window show you don't see behind it and it's, it's not very comfortable I mean uh, this is why I use alarm indicator because small part of your, of your screen <clears throat> for example you have here only the clocks or something like that or that daytime filed and you just click on it and you are on the alarms this, this is very good I mean this is also active when uh, the arm is inactive but is not acknowledged acknowledge it and now we don't see the arm indicator Okay, this is all about the global screens. Thank you for watching this video and goodbye.